Hey guys, Game Prime here, and as you know, the Game Awards are today at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, 5.30 Pacific Standard Time. Right now, I want to be going over all of the awards given out during the show, and who I think will win, want to win, etc., etc. So, we are going to start off at the bottom of the list with most anticipated game a great great award to get started with the nominees are god of war the new reboot for the playstation 4 horizon zero dawn mass effect andromeda red dead redemption 2 and the legend of zelda breath of the wild if you guys know anything about me i'm a nintendo guy zelda probably will get it if not Red Dead, and if not Red Dead, probably Mass Effect. I don't see Horizon or God of War getting it. I think we know just a little too less about God of War and Horizon for them to actually win most anticipated game. Next up is Best Fan Creation. Now, two of the awards were Nintendo fan-made projects that were removed because of um, Nintendo's just bastards with copyrights and whatnot so they took them down so the two nominees are brutal doom 64 and i have horrible handwriting i should just go on the website i'll be right back anyway i pick brutal doom 64 trending gamer now this is for a streamer slash influencer slash media member who has made an important impact on the gaming industry this year the nominees are Angry Joe Show, Boogie2988, Danny O'Dwyer, Jacksepticeye, and Lyric. Uh, the only one I know is Angry Joe Show, so I'm going to go with him. Next up is Best Esports Game. I, I could really care less again. Um, the nominees are Counter Strike Global Offensive, Dota 2, League of Legends, Overwatch, Street Fighter 5. Uh, I'll probably go with League because it's been around for a while and everybody loves League. And if not League, Overwatch definitely because it's Overwatch. Best Esports Team, once again, who cares because I really don't. Uh, we got SK Telecom T1 for their game of League of, League of Legends. Wings Gaming for Dota 2. SK Gaming. Rocks Tigers for League and Cloud9. Ah, uh, I freaking don't know. I, I really don't know. Let's, let's go with SK Gaming, I guess. Adios. Best Esports Player. Once again, who cares? Because I certainly don't. We got Faker for uh, League. Cold Zera for Counter-Strike. Beyond Huyan Wu, that's a hell of a name, for StarCraft 2, people still play that. Infiltration for Street Fighter 5, and Hungry Box for Super Smash Bros. I'll go with Hungry Box because Smash is probably the best out of them all. That's it for fan choice. On to the uh, Jerry Selected. Best multiplayer game, Battlefield 1, Gears of War 4. Overcooked, Overwatch, Rainbow Six Siege, or Titanfall 2. Um, I'm probably going to go with Overwatch because if there's one game that's going to dominate other than Uncharted 4, it'll be Overwatch. Best sports and racing game? We have FIFA 17, Forza Horizon 3, MLB The Show 16, NBA 2K17, Pro Evolution Soccer 7, 2017. Uh, I'm going to pick Forza and Horizon because it's racing. Best Strategy Game. Civilization 6. Fire Emblem Fates. The Banner Saga 2. Total War Warhammer. And XCOM 2. <coughs> I'll pick Fire Emblem Fates because at least I played a little bit of that game. Best Family Game, Dragon Quest Builders, Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens, Pokemon Go, Ratchet & Clank, Skylanders Imaginators. I want Ratchet & Clank to win, but Skylanders will probably get it. 
Best Fighting Game, Killer Instinct Season 3, King of Fighters, XIV, because I don't know, Roman numerals, Pokken Tournament, Street Fighter 5. I give it a Pokken. They all suck in my opinion, though. Best RPG, Dark Souls 3, Days X, Mankind Divided, The Wick... The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, Blood and Wine, World of Warcraft, Legion, and Xenoblade Chronicles X. Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, Blood and Wine will probably get it because I've heard great things about the DLC. Apparently it's better than the main game itself. And it has a massive overworld just for a DLC. Next is Best Action Adventure Game. Dishonored 2, Hitman, Hyper, Light, Drifter, Ratchet and & Clank, and Uncharted 4, Thief's End. As much as I like Ratchet & Clank, I'm giving this one to Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. As you will most likely see me give it to a lot of Uncharted in this uh, award show. Best Action Game. Battlefield 1, Doom, Gears of War 4, Overwatch, or Titanfall 2. Um, I'll pick Overwatch. I don't know why Uncharted wasn't in this category, because that's a major action game, along with Adventure 2, but I mean, I don't know. I'll give it to Overwatch, though. If not, Doom or Gears of War 4. Best VR game. Now, my friend Noah, his picture will be up here somewhere. He helped me answer this one. The nominees are Batman Arkham VR. That is my pick, by the way. E Valkyrie, Job Simulator, Res Infinite, and Thumper. Noah picked either E Valkyrie or Job Simulator. I know he got a platinum on Job Simulator, so that is his pick and guest pick of the night. Best mobile slash handheld game. This is for phones and mobile devices like, or handheld systems like the DS, Vita, etc. Clash Royale, Fire Emblem Fates, Monster Hunter Generations, Pokemon Go, and Severed. Um, I'll probably give it a Pokemon Go, even though it's kind of out of style now. I think it still has a high chance of winning. If not, then Fire Emblem Fates or Clash. Best Indie Game. Firewatch, Hyperlight Drifter, Inside, Stardew Valley, or The Witness. I'm giving this one to Stardew Valley. I've heard great things about that game. heard uh, a lot of friends put in so many hours in it. So... I give that to Stardew Valley. Games for Impact Award. It's for games that have a pro-social meaning or message. 1979 Revolution, Blockhood, Orwell, Sea Hero Quest, That Dragon Cancer. Uh, I choose nothing because I don't know any of these games. Let's go with 1979 Revolution. I, I really don't know. Best Performance. This is an award to an individual for voiceover acting, motion, and or performance capture. Alex Hernandez as Lincoln Clay Mafia 3. Sissy Jones as Delilah Firewatch. Rich Summer as Henry Firewatch. Emily Rose as Elena Drake, Uncharted 4, Thief Sen. Nolan North as Nathan Drake, Uncharted 4, Thief's End. And Troy Baker as Samuel Drake in Uncharted 4, Thief's End. This is coming down to Uncharted territory, people. I don't... Uncharted's winning this. Definitely. Between Emily Rose, Nolan North, and Sam, or Troy Baker, they all did a damn good job. I'm... Surprised Richard McGonagall did not get in this category too because he was amazing as well. Um, I'll give it to Nolan North because he deserves that one big last send off to Nathan Drake. Best music sound design. Uh, 
I really don't care about this category, even though I am a huge supporter of video game music and everything that it stands for since it adds to the nostalgia factor and the memories you make with the game. But this year, there's no game that really stood out to me that had a fantastic soundtrack. However, next year, I am predicting Ukulele will get it and Grant Kirkhope will probably have a heart attack on stage because uh, he's going to do wonders for that game. However, the nominees for this year are Battlefield 1, Doom, Inside, Res Infinite, and Thumper. I give it to Doom, although Thumper has some pretty cool music. Best Art Direction for Outstanding Creative and Technical Achievement in Artistic Design and Animation. Nominees are Abzu, Firewatch, Inside, Overwatch, or Uncharted for A Thief's End. Comes down to Overwatch and Uncharted. Uncharted has is probably the most realistic game you could buy on the market right now. Overwatch, it's it's beautifully designed in a way. The characters are designed greatly. I'm giving it to Uncharted because I love Uncharted. I think that Uncharted 4 pushed boundaries of what games should be and could be. So I'm definitely giving it to Uncharted. Next is Best Narrative for Outstanding Storytelling and Narrative Development in a Game. Nominees are Firewatch, Inside, Mafia 3, Oxen Free, and Uncharted 4 Thief's End. Giving it to Uncharted again because A Thief's End was just the perfect send-off to Nathan Drake and Co. Next is Best Studio Slash Game Direction, recognizing a game studio for outstanding creative vision and innovation in game direction and design. Nominees are Blizzard for Overwatch, Dice for Battlefield 1, ID Software for Doom, Naughty Dog for Uncharted 4 Thieves, and, and Respond for Titanfall 2, giving it to Naughty Dog for Uncharted 4 Thieves, and once again, if not Blizzard. And finally, that leads us to Game of the Year, recognizing a game that delivers the absolute best experience across all creative and technical fields. The nominees are Doom, Inside, Overwatch, Titanfall 2, and Uncharted 4 Thief's End. I don't care about any other game besides Uncharted 4 Thief's End, although it is going to come down to Overwatch and Uncharted 4. I'm giving it to Uncharted 4 just because I, I need to. I really don't care for Overwatch, but if they get it, I understand why, but if Uncharted gets it, everybody else better understand why, because that was probably the best game of the year, in my opinion. Also forgot to talk about the world premieres they are going to have tomorrow. We know that we are going to see more of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on the pre-show, and on the main show as well, I believe that we're just going to see a new story trailer and get a release date for at least the Wii U version, maybe not the Switch version, but definitely the Wii U version release date. And for other world premieres, I don't really know what else we can see. I really hope Sucker Punch is there and I hope they show something new because we have not seen anything from Sucker Punch since 2014. I think with Infamous Second Son. Hopefully they bring Sly back. You know me. Always hoping for Sly. Maybe we'll see more Psychonauts 2. Since it's been a year now since that got revealed. But that's pretty much it I could think of for world premieres. So that's what I'm guessing. Insomniac Games announced that they are not going to show off any of the new Spider-Man game they announced back at E3, they are saving all details for 2017. So at least we have that to look forward to next year. So that's it for me, guys. Oh, wow, we are at uh, near 17 minutes. Hope you enjoyed this little podcast thing I did here. Join me tomorrow, or today, technically for my reactions for the Game Awards and this weekend for the PlayStation Experience. Join me for reactions and whatnot. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Let me know in the comments below who you think should win 
at the Game Awards. And of course, this was all my opinion. And uh, if you want to start an argument, kiss my ass. Thanks for watching.